Hi, I'm Zhijian Liu from MIT. Today I'm going to present our paper, HAQ, How We're Aware of Automated Quantization with Mixed Precision. This is a joint effort with Quan Yujun Ji and Professor Song Han. Emergent DNA accelerators start to support mixed precisions. For example, NVIDIA Turing GPU with tensor core supports a matrix multiplication with mixed precisions. Apple A12 Bionic chip also provides this feature. However, conventional algorithms still use fixed precision quantization. That is to use the same number of bits for all layers. For example, as shown in the figure, assigning eight bits to both weights and activations. A natural question is whether it is optimal to assign the same number of bits to each of the layers. The answer is obviously no. In this paper, we propose to use mixed precision quantization to provide more flexibility. For example, as shown in the figure, we can assign four bits to the weights, five bits to the activations in the first layer, and assign six bits to the weight, seven bits to the activation in the second layer. However, the design space will become very huge. For each layer, the activations have eight different choices, which is from one to eight bits, and the weights also have eight different choices. Therefore, there are in total 64 different choices for each layer. If a model has n layers, the total design space will have the size of 64 to the nth, which is very large to be fully explored by the human explorers. How, how to find the best solution becomes a very huge challenge. To this end, we automate this exploration process. Concretely, we use the reinforcement learning agent to assign the bit width to weights and activations of each layer. After all layers are quantized, we evaluate the quantized model on the validation set and use the validation accuracy as the reward to the RL agent. The DDPG agent explores the best quantization policy through trials and errors. Apart from mixed precision and design automation, another contribution is hardware aware specialization. This is very critical as different hardware might have different properties. Therefore, the optimal solution on one hardware might not be optimal on the other. In our framework, we incorporate the hardware accelerator directly into the optimization loop. The hardware simulator provides the latency and energy feedbacks measured on the hardware to the IO agent. If we have different hardwares, our HAQ framework can offer a specialized quantization solution that is particular for each of these. We evaluate the effectiveness of our framework on the ImageNet dataset. With the same amount of latency budget, our HAQ significantly outperforms the PACT, which is the uniform quantization baseline, in terms of the top one accuracy. We believe that a huge amount of accuracy improvement comes from the additional flexibility given by the mixed precision and the superior policy given by the IO agent. Our framework can also provide specialization for different models and hardware. In our paper, we explore two hardware configurations, including edge and cloud accelerators, and two different models, including MobileNet V1 and MobileNet V2. Across all settings, our HAQ consistently outperforms the uniform quantization baseline by a very large margin. Apart from reducing the model size, which has been widely explored, our HAQ supports multiple objectives, including reducing the latency and energy. Energy is an aspect that hasn't been explored before. However, it is very critical, as a lot of edge devices, such as mobile phones and self-driving cars, are strictly battery constrained. Given specific energy budget, our HAQ framework can offer best quantization policy it has explored, and we can see that it significantly outperforms the uniform quantization baseline. We also visualize the quantization policy for both edge and cloud accelerators. Let's focus on the blue bars, which indicates the bit width for weights. We can see that the policies are drastically different. For edge accelerators, our HAQ assigns more bits to the point-wise layers and fewer bits to the depth-wise layers. For cloud accelerators, the pattern is similar for the first few layers. However, for the last few layers, our HAQ assigns more bits to the depth-wise layers, which is exactly the opposite to the patterns of the edge accelerator. This phenomenon, again, advocates the need of specialization for different hardware. Finally, our contributions can be summarized as, first, mixed precision, second, design automation, and third, hardware aware specialization. We also suggest you to take a look at some of our related papers, including proxy list class and AMC. Please come to our poster if you're interested. Our poster number is 199. Thank you so much.